Okay, now let's talk about wrapper classes and order boxing in Java. So what are, what are wrapper classes? Wrapper classes provide a mechanism to wrap primitive values in an object. So there will be a wrapper class for every primitive in Java. Okay, so for int it is integer and for float it is float and so on. So they, uh, the wrapper classes has uh, most commonly the same name as the primitive types but with a capital letter. Only difference is with this char, it is char data type, it is character with a capital C. So the wrapper, there is a wrapper class for every primitive in Java. So why do we need wrapper classes actually? Sometimes it happens that you require that uh, in, uh, you'll see later on collections that you want to hold collections of objects and primitives together and there you will need wrappers to make them compatible because wrapper classes have the ability to uh, wrap the primitives into an objects. So they also contain other methods which may be used in processing of val variables of the corresponding data type. We'll see that later on. So what are the most common approaches for creating wrapper objects? First is using constructor. All of the wrapper classes provide two constructor except character. Integer i1 is equal to new integer. So this is a constructor and when you uh, pass a primitive int here, it is wrapped and it's converted into uh, integer wrapper class. You can also pass string in this constructor. So all of the wrapper class except character provide two uh, constructors. The character class provides only one constructor which takes a care as an argument. Another approach is using value of. Value of is a function provided in this class float where you can call this function and pass the argument. This also will convert into this uh, a primitive type into a wrapper. Now directly assigning a primitive to a wrapper reference in which case Java will automatically create an object for you which is called auto boxing. We'll see what is an auto boxing now. Auto boxing is the automatic conversion that the Java compiler makes when the primitive types and the corresponding object wrapper classes. Okay, so the primitive types when they are converted into the their corresponding object wrapper classes that is called auto, box, auto boxing. For example, in this you can see this 50 is, uh, is an int primitive type and it's converted into integer wrapper. Or if you assign, this is using constructor approach and this is directly assigning 5 to this. 5 is an int uh, primitive type and it's converted into integer wrapper. Now what is unboxing? Unboxing is converting an object of wrapper type, for example integer to its corresponding primitive value, for example int. So this is unboxing. Wrapper type is converted into primitive type. So how does our, supposing now we have this 3 as int and now we are converting into wrapper integer. This is auto boxing. Now we can convert this integer to int primitive by calling the int value. This, this way also we can unbox it or we can directly assign it into a primitive that will unbox that is also unboxing so unboxing can be done in these two ways okay now let's uh, see one example of wrapper class i have created this wrapper of integer new integer now i give an increment so this is what this is what is auto boxing we are converting 20 uh, int primitive into a wrapper class of integer. Now when we say y++ plus plus, if we are putting an a post in increment on an object reference so uh, what does it do? So this object reference is we are putting post increment operator but behind the scene what happens the compiler does the unboxing and reassigning for you. Here it will convert it uh, back into the int primitive and then it will increment the value of y. So this will not throw an error because we are incrementing this uh, object reference. Doesn't mean it will throw an error because it will wrap, uh, it will unbox it into again int primitive. Here now this is a an object reference. But here compiler would 
automatically unbox it and reassign it for you. So if you run this code, you will get 21. Okay, so I think it's pretty clear what are wrapper classes, what is auto boxing and unboxing. Oh, okay, now let's talk about collections.